What is up you guys, you're watching Sergio Secrets. Before I get started with today's video, if you can get it a thumbs up, subscribe button, it re I really appreciate it. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss an upload from me. And today's video is going to be a very fun and exciting one. It's going to be about Kate Spade handbag. So, I'm somebody that always asks a lot of questions on my Instagram, particularly my Instagram stories, where I just kind of like once a week, I go in and I like let you guys kind of vote on the videos you want to see within the next two to three or four weeks. I uh, pre-film these videos out and about. So I just like to make sure that I have great content and there are videos that you guys want to see. And I asked, would you guys be interested in a Kate Spade video? Do you want me to talk about my Kate Spade handbags? And a lot of you guys said yes. So I'm here now talking about Kate Spade handbags and I'm super, super excited to be filming a video about it. So if you don't know, um, if you don't know, Kate Spade is part of three brands. It is Stuart Weitzman, it is Coach, and it is Kate Spade, and it's all under Tape Spree, Tap Spree, I'll insert kind of insert it right here, like the actual name of it. So it's, they, so it's kind of like a little mini conglomerate. They all kind of own each other, and I feel like ever since um, they've kind of got acquired, I feel like they've done a lot of changes, and I think for the good. I think about a year ago, they recently hired this woman called Nicola Glass. I believe that's her name. She used to work for Gucci. She used to work for Michael Kors. She's, you know, she's very well known in the fashion industry. So Kate Spade took her, and now she kind of completely revamped. They started doing more ready to wear, more footwear. Like I feel like a lot of the newer Kate Spade styles are super elevated, are super beautiful, are super wearable. They don't look dated. I just am completely obsessed with the newer Kate Spade items. I'm gonna be really, really honest. A lot of the older Kate Spade stuff I was not a big fan of. I think it was a little too juvenile for my tasty, childlike. So for me, I, that kind of turned me off from the brand. But they don't necessarily, um, I know they do more of the novelty styles, but they don't just, they don't do them as frequently as they did. So ever since it's revamped was, like I said, the ready-to-wear, the jewelry, the shoes, the handbags, I've just been completely obsessed with a lot of their items. And I'm here to talk about my three favorite Kate Spade handbags that I, and talk about some of the other ones and maybe some that I will be purchasing in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my handbag. So the handbag that I'm literally currently using right now, it is, I believe it is called the Molly Toe. I love this tote so much. It is, so it's just straight to the, you see right here, it has an enamel. So this is part of new kind of Nicholas direction. A lot of their bags have kind of like um a little spade detailing and i'll kind of show you throughout the other bags as well so it is an enamel you'll see this in some of the jewelry as well and it this looks more kind of a burnt orange type of red in the camera it but this is more of a true kind of like winter candy like apple type red color and in, in the back right here it has a little stamping that says kate spade this one i believe is 228 dollars and i think for a contemporary bag i think that is such a good price and you get a lot of bang for your buck. I definitely do love these kind of, um, I do love this type of style toe. I maybe see myself buying it in another color because I think it's just so wearable and it's so usable and it's something that I can use every day. I'm quickly going to be showing you what I actually carry in this bag so you, can, so you guys can kind of have an idea of what I carry. But I have a pair of sunglasses, another pair of sunglasses because for me, I love eyewear so much so I always tend to carry sunglasses. This is my pair of Chanel sunglasses and these are a pair of Celine sunglasses. I have my wallet and this is my little classic Chanel quilted wallet. I have this little Tom Ford all over body spray and this one's in the um, tobacco vanilla. I keep my MacBook Pro and I also keep a journal with me. I know this is kind of a generic journal but um, I write a lot of my ideas, a lot of the things that I have to get done throughout the day. Um, I just really like to write everything down then putting them on my notes or putting them on my computer. I feel like when I write them down I tend to accomplish them a little bit more so um, these are always my laptop and, and my journal I, I'm starting to use a lot more in my lifestyle so I need something that can hold it in this little this toe right here definitely does the job, so I have these two. And the last three things that I have is a lipstick, and this is Angel Alessandro by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm at Apple AirPods and a pin that actually should be like in a little pouch so in case this doesn't like bleed out throughout the handbag because I've had had that happen before in other handbags. Yeah, that's all that fits in my handbag. The bag is not, it, the bag is like super lightweight. It doesn't really weigh anything, but it is super durable. The, at first, when I first bought it, I thought, you know, maybe it may put a lot of pressure on the handbag just because I do carry a laptop and do carry, you know, a little bit more heavier items, but no, it's been super, super fine and it's been super well and so far so good. And then on the inside, it is lined with this kind of like faux type suede. I really like it because it makes it look more elevated versus like a regular kind of fabric lining. With this little pouch right here, 
and you can detach this pouch and you know you can use this pouch for you know other things I'm just gonna keep it in the handbag I just think it's super super cute that you can kind of have that right there for 228 you already get a bang for your buck you get this entire tote and a little pouch which I think is super beautiful and then on the inside it comes with a little clasp but you can just kind of clasp your bag personally I never really clasp my bag I just kind of like my bags to be kind of out out and about and thrown around but yes, I've been using this tote non-stop and I've been loving it so much. And yes, if you're looking to purchase this Kate Spade handbag, I definitely would because like I said, I've been using it and I love it. And I get a lot of compliments on it because it's just like a very sleek, there's nothing going on. The only branding is this, but if you're not, you know, if you don't know the current Kate Spade branding, then it just looks like a very elevated kind of contemporary tote. And that's the type of look that I'm going for nowadays. And yes, so this is the first handbag that I have from Kate Spade. The second one is going to be my newer Kate Spade handbag. And I saw this on their Instagram account. And when I saw it, I was like, I knew, I know I have to have it. I know I have to purchase it. And it is the Kate Spade two drawer handbag. This literally looks super, super elevated. This looks super contemporary. This looks like a handbag that would cost you well over a thousand dollars. I think the construction of the bag is really, it's really thought out. This is what I mean when I like this newer Kate Spade stuff. Usually, they would be like a collection I believe called like the Cameron Street, and it would be like Kate Spade in like metal and Safiano leather. And for me, that just was not my thing. It, it, it was just, it was just not for me. I didn't really like it, and it just looked like a Kate Spade bag. But this looks elevated this looks super contemporary and that's what I mean when I like the newer Kate Spade items so as you can see Nicolette likes to incorporate a lot of the spades throughout the handbags so you see these are the two spades right here and then back here the little bit of the spade as well so I do like that she kind of does incorporate the spades throughout the handbags and what I like about it is that you can actually detach this um, it does take a while to kind of get used to detaching it I necessarily don't even detach it but I do like that you can detach it and you can make the bag a little bit larger and you can fit a little bit more. I have carried the bag without like the space being locked in together. I think that's cute. Or sometimes I just go in like that. I don't know. Maybe this is not everybody's cup of tea. But for me, I don't really mind the bag looking like that. I just think it looks quite different. And this is kind of like, um, this leather is not necessarily Safiano, but it is kind of this very durable kind of structured green leather, which I kind of prefer nowadays in the Safiano. It cinches right in in the middle. And like I said, if you want to make it more bigger, you definitely can. But it has a back pocket, which I really appreciate because I can just put my cell phone. And this pocket is a little bit smaller. It doesn't go all the way, which I like because I can just put my phone so I don't have to like start digging for my cell phone. On the inside, and this bag is kind of lined with this kind of suede type of material. And it has a little pocket right here that you can kind of detach. Personally, I never really do that. I just kind of leave it open, kind of like my other totes and stuff like that. I never really zip it up. I just kind of leave it open. Um, it has a little zipper in the middle and then it has another opening. Also comes with a strap, which I really appreciate it. Personally, I don't really use this bag with a strap. I love to carry this handbag in the crook of my arms. I just think it looks, I think it looks like I'm, uh, it, I think it looks for more than what it is. And you know, I know this handbag is $3.98 and it is quite pricey for a Kate Speed handbag. But for me, I think this is worth the $3.98 for the look, for the value, for just everything that is this bag. I think it's definitely worth it. Tapes free, I believe that's what they're called, the little coach and store rights. I don't know what they're doing. Are they out to get my money because Coach has been something that's been on my radar, like literally nonstop. I literally go on the Coach website almost like every single day and I see what's new. And same for Kate Spade, like there's this beautiful Kate Spade bag that I really, really want, which I'll talk later in this video. But for me, like, I'm just, I'm just loving the newer type styles. And this one does actually fit my laptop, believe it or not. I tried putting my laptop in it. Um, by far, it is a little, it, it is a little bit of a stretch to put inside of here, but it does fit. If it's all my stuff, this bag doesn't really weigh a lot to begin with. I love the zipper in the middle. I can put my wallet in there. I can put my AirPods in there. I can put my pin in there. And if it's my journal, if it's my MacBook, if it's everything that I need. And, you know, I wear this with kind of like a simple white blouse with like a pair of, you know, black trousers and, you know, a loafer. I think actually today I'm going to carry this bag. I think I'm going to wear this. This um, shirt is from Ghani. I have some Vince um, black trousers. And then I have my little Gucci shoes that I'm going to be wearing. And I think that's going to be such a little cute outfit. And it's going to look super, super elevated and super polished. Yes, this is the newer Kate Spade handbag and I love it. I love this new type of stuff and you know if anybody from Kate Spade corporate or anybody from Kate Spade watches this video I love what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Kind of the statistics and stuff. I know Kate Spade 
financially is not necessarily doing the well, but that always kind of happens. Like Burberry right now is rebranding. You know, when you revamp your brand, you are going to take a little bit of a, uh, of a hit because you are going to lose customers. You're going to gain customers. It's just part of the game, especially in handbags and accessories and fashion. Um, consumers are always going to be changing, but um, best to believe, I feel like in a year from now, Kate Speed is going to be super, super strong. It's going to be more popular than what it is now. And I'm just literally here for it. So before all you guys get on the Kate Speed bandwagon, I've already gone on into it. Um, like whenever I could first purchase this handbag. And I purchased this handbag, I believe, like a couple weeks after it came out because I could just not take this bag out of my mind. But this is the little two drawer bag. The next bag, I actually had to ask my friend to borrow it and she loves it so much. So this is her little Margot tote. So this is kind of like their bread and butter. I feel like when you think of a Kate Spade handbag in the full price business, you're gonna think about this one. The like, same thing, I love that this is embossed. I don't like that, it, you know, some of the older Kate Spade bags have that kind of metal on it. I think it looked a little bit, um, I just feel like it didn't look elevated and this one does. I love that it's kind of in this grainy leather. I love that it's not Sofiano. I just love everything about it. And you know how I said that Nicola likes to include a lot of Kate Spades in it. And this one, it's, uh, this one, you know, if you turn it upside down, it looks like a spade. And I do like this enamel spade. I don't know, just something about it I do quite like. Do you recommend this bag? Do you like this bag? And she told me that she loves this bag. And I can see why. Because on the inside, right here, it's, it's kind of lined, kind of like in, in leather. If anything happens, say, like she's out and about and it's raining and water gets inside of here, she can literally wipe it clean. Or if something gets inside of her bag, she can literally wipe it clean. It's super easy access. This bag is super wipeable. Nothing will happen to it. And also on the inside, also on the inside, it does have this fabric lining, but she says she tends to put like her more important stuff, people, you know, stuff that, you know, she wants to make sure that it's secure. It does have a zipper and a little pocket right here. She says she personally doesn't use that. She just kind of puts like her wallet and her cell phone here. But yes, guys, like this bag, I quite like, and she does use it with a shoulder strap. I did ask her that, and she just really likes this Margot too. For me, yeah, I do love this Margot tote, but right now I just have some new Kate Spade handbags that I kind of want to love and enjoy in the moment. And who knows, maybe I will be purchasing a Margot tote in the future. But this one is a little smaller one. I also didn't want to mention about their dust bags. Their dust bags have changed. I think it went from like a creamy color. I know it went from like a brown with like red, like little um, strings on it. And then it went from like a beigey color. And now it is this kind of baby pink with like this green. And this is kind of like the direction that Nicola has been taking. Like all of the current stuff is and like the shopping bags have this kind of like baby pink color with this kind of green and quite like it i think it's super super beautiful and you know when you store your bags i mean that pink dust bag it just kind of like pops at you even though it's not necessarily the most vibrant pink yeah for me if you guys are, are recommending to purchase a kate spade handbag i definitely would i definitely love the ones that i do have i know they have some from like the poly collection those ones are not necessarily for me i feel like those are a little bit um they're just not my style i think they're a little bit too plain jane for my style but a lot of the other ones there's this nicola tw um, lock twist handbag that i really really like i went the other day i was walking past by the kate spade store and i saw the transparent one and I was like, oh my god, that would be the perfect stadium bag. And it is just so beautiful. Like, I really, really am thinking about buying that bag. If I were buy a new Kate Speed handbag, it would definitely be that one. Like, look how beautiful that is. It is literally transparent. I love the turn lock. I love that you can use it in stadiums and concerts, no problems. And, you know, I went to the Kate Speed store the other day as well. And I love everything that they have. Um, they also have this style called, like, the Romy. That's a kind of croc. And, like, the wallet on chains. I love all of that, too. The only ones that I don't necessarily like are kind of more of, like, the basic ones. I do like some of them that have a little bit of pop. So if you're asking, so if you're asking, is, is Kate Spade handbags approved? Yes, current Kate Spade handbags or Kate Spade handbags under new creative director Nicola Glass. I would 100 and million percent recommend all of her bags. I love them so much. I think they're well made out. And another thing too is Kate Spade is like coach. They stand behind their products. I believe all their items have a one year warranty. I think a while back I went to a Kate Spade store and I purchased something and they had asked for my email. And they told me like their items have like a one or two year warranty. But I know that they stand behind their products too. So if anything happens, Kate Spade is right there for you to help you out with any issues that you have. Same with Coach. Um, I've never personally had any issues with none of their bags through Kate Spade or Coach. But I've had had friends and I've seen stuff throughout blogs and, you know, just stuff like that. And, you know, they own up to it. They do what's right. You know, there's a lot of like more expensive brands like Louis Vuitton that don't even own up to their own issues. And I appreciate that brands like Kate Spade and Coach 
they really look out for their clients they really look out for the consumer and they do what's right if something's faulty they will take the hit and they will do what's right and yeah that, that's something that i also take in consideration when i'm purchasing anything is what is the warranty what is the company for and they do stand behind a lot of their products so i just can't say nothing bad about that because if you stand behind your products that means that you genuinely believe in your items this is gonna be my little kate spade video i know it was like more kind of a chit chat show new type of kate spade handbags but for me I love these Kate Spade handbags and you know if you and I know the guys that voted for this video current Kate Spade handbags are going to be Sergio Secrets approved anything from under Nicola Glass I love and I will approve a million million times and I literally cannot say nothing bad about it but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video like I said I post every Monday Wednesday Friday and Saturday make sure to subscribe and hit the like button because you know I don't want you to miss any of my uploads and yeah let me know what type of videos you want to see on this channel also all the links for the hammocks will be down below and i'll see you back on my channel pretty pretty soon and just thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and me and kate spade will see you back on this channel pretty pretty soon bye guys